Thank you for listening to this post. This post is for you who are researching knotted locks and you're so confused because the information about knotted locks seems to be mixed messages. You're a bit unclear and you're hearing different things and you're worried. And it makes sense why you'd be worried because historically African hair struggles with better hairstyles or good hairstyles. As in the case of Sister Locks where it was the one last hairstyle and now you are actually experiencing hair loss or worried about hair loss and you've seen the early signs. Early seen signs being like flaking, itching, stretchy locks, thinner locks, breaking fine hairs, hair pulled back a bit, you know, the hairline's a bit thinner, it's moving backwards, broken back area, um, crown area as well, you've kind of look like it's thinning because that's the first place. So you're seeing early signs of hair loss, trauma to your scalp, and the pain is there, the tightness is there. So all of that is showing you that long term, this is not a sustainable hairstyle, even just for vitality and longevity and sustainability. The size that Sister Locks is giving you and the way it's being re-tightened on your head isn't working. So you're looking for alternatives or you're thinking, I've discovered knotted locks and I'm a yes, but I'm in between yes and no. And you're all, all over social media because that's your habit. Your habit is to Google search, go on social media and then follow different people, what they're posting. Even though it's not necessarily your hair type, they're saying things that make sense to you. My tip to you is carry on researching and understand when it's enough for your body, for your headspace. And understand that as you're researching, the information is being told to you instantly. The first you know, if the first, um, the first information you're getting on knotted locks is not for you, then it's not for you. If you're getting information that this is the way to go, then that's the way to go. Don't second guess it because you are getting the information and it's there and it's free and it's for you to dive in. Because once you decide what direction you want to go, you want to dive into that and explore it. And I always think that, I honestly, I feel like you can never over-research. I feel like if there's 1% of doubt, then I just believe don't do it. You see, when I got the information to create Knotted Locks, I did not doubt it. I was like, mm, this is strange, this information, why am I getting this? I like, it's going to break or whatever. But I had no doubt that the intuitive voice that was telling me what to do was absolutely, absolutely knew more than me. Because the thing is that it's the unknown and you're worried about the unknown and the unknown you will forever worry about it. So it's that internal trust of, I entrust my, I, I trust my intelligence. I trust my intuition. I trust the deep work that I've done in relationship to myself and finding the quiet and the information is within me. The solution is within me. And then I just look and there it is right in front of me. A lot of people have told that story about discovering knotted logs and they asked and it was just there and there was no doubt so unless there's doubt don't now let's talk about the unknown so the unknown is i can't see my hair texture i can't see knotted locks wearers um and how could i make an informed decision what you need to understand is this has never been done before every other way has for me failed because i was moving into hair loss and the only way to sustain this is by firstly me being the person teaching it, I have to look after myself and my mental health is, is really important. And I, I'm stressing why it's important because I literally almost walked away in 2018 when quite a lot of people were following me and realized I stopped posting. And that's simply because within a community, there's groups that are nasty and toxic and negative and just are in their own headspace so much and they doubt themselves so much that instead of dealing with their internal conflicts, they go on social media. It's the super easiest way to project. And so they project it and they get a lot of followers because a lot of people second guess themselves and are in doubt and they get a lot of attention. And then they are fine, they're fulfilled. But please remember what social media is. Like social media is like therapy for a lot of people. For me, social media, is therapy, but it's therapy uh, where I'm seeing people healing and communicating with people, but it's also work for me. 
Um, it's also work and it's careful work. When you listen to <clears throat> Melissa speak about knotted locks and you listen to everybody, whether they're pro or anti, <clears throat> and you look at their hair, and what you're not what you're looking at is you literally are looking at the density of their hair like you're looking close to the scalp how does their hair look because knotted locks is about the growth and um close to your scalp and then however the knot sits they sit it's not a hairstyle knotted locks is a methodology of or technique used to keep your small size locks separated it is like when you say I palm roll my hair. I, not my hair. That's what it is, it's a technique, it's not a hairstyle, right? Palm rolling, twisting, all of that aids the hair to stay separated and then your locks does its thing, knotted locks does that. It's just another technique created to alleviate the fear of unraveling so that you can dive into water because water is a crucial part of wearing your small size locks. And then once you're in water, the hygiene level is improved, the hydration level is improved, and then your hair, your hair shows up how it shows up in the small size locks. Does this make sense to you? So I cannot provide you with any hair that looks like yours. When, when I'm posting knotted locks, it's knotted locks my clients, but that's my creativity, that's my canvas work, that's my art. Where that's my expression of, I love African hair and I like it in this texture and you know. Now, what, what you are about to experience, if you learn knotted locks, is you create your own knotted locks. You are not a social media person. You're a voyeur. You read comments, you probably comment a bit and you comment your doubts and then somebody jumps on it and goes, Ew, you know. If you comment, you'll find out, say thank you, I'll just send you the contact information. Because I want you independently to make an informed decision about what you want for your hair, right? Understanding that how it shows up, the texture is the texture. Not said locks does not dictate that texture. When you look at my hair and you see the knots, and then you see uh, maybe a thinness in the middle, then a knot, that the thinness is interlocking. So uh, what I I'm trying to do is thicken up my hair so that the interlocking vanishes and my knots are actually the ones you see. But remember that I experimented on my hair. So therefore, by the time I understood what I was doing, which is like two years later, they, the knots had fused in next to the interlocked. So that's why the interlocked is the thin part, the part that looks vulnerable, well, it's not, because it's not breaking off and I'm not having any fraying hair. And then the knots is Melissa's creativity. I will not put people's knotted locks on my space like that because they are not social media people. Actually, they're very private. They've privately messaged me. I've privately consulted with them. I've privately taught them and they're privately knotting and they're privately enjoying their hair. And what they don't want is to put their images online and you go, well, actually, because that's what people first look to criticize. And a lot of people don't filter, you just comment. I can take it. In 2018, I just had to be built stronger because I was attacked from every area. And I feel like I'm rooted as a result of me coping with that. I feel like I'm rooted and I can take the dismissive comments and the negativity and all that. That comes with the gorgeous, 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 gorgeous 99% of positives. The 1% can feel quiet when you're attacked. I don't want that for any of my learners, any of my people, my community um, that's practicing knotted locks. I can't guarantee it's going to be respectful comment because please remember, I open up their brain and their learning and like me, they're going to get better and better and better, but we're going to do it together as a community linked, right? So you're not going to get Melissa putting their pictures or their videos on my space because I have the experience of negativity, disrespect and abuse. And I don't want a tiny bit of that for them because the process of me teaching them involves me allowing them to have the time without self-criticism and managing their thoughts. I don't want an external person to come in, make a nasty comment, and then it just throws them completely because they see that and they read it before I've re removed that negative comment. Do you understand why 
I'm doing this post to explain to you that you're going to have to make an intuitive decision based on the information I've provided. You cannot tell me, Melissa, if you provide this, I'm going for knotted locks. That's not my business. I'm there when you're ready for me to teach you. But how you come to decide that, just make that decision and that journey into knotted locks, you're grown. It's your personal decision. I shouldn't be influencing you directly. I should be able to post my findings, post my understanding of what I'm doing, as much evidence of how I create, evidence that I'm teaching and people are learning. The rest, you're gonna have to dig deep and not actually rely on social media influencing you. Social media is social media. The reality of your texture, your scalp, your headaches, your tightness, how you feel about your head is personal to you. As people are commenting and you're agreeing with them and you're going to sit in a retightening chair, how many follicles have been pulled up? How many white heads are surfacing more and more and more increasingly as you feed the fear? When I was getting the backlash of, you are not here, I stayed firm in my practice because I looked at my hairline and oh my God, oh my God, my hair was thriving. It, the vitality was there in my locks and I didn't have the language of what it is to have complete self-love and respect for the work I was doing on my head and transferring it to clients and teaching that the person being negative did not matter. You know, going on about what I charge, why I charge, why I don't do consultants hair, why I don't, my dad, my hair, none of that mattered. Why? Because this is internal and my relationship with my hair. So when you see my hair and I'm super comfortable coming out with it being the way it looks, it's because I am one with who I am. I am comfortable with myself. When you're uncomfortable with yourself, you run here, run there, get distracted. You sit in the wrong chair. Your head is allergic to that, that hand. Your locks are going and you're sitting there in fear. That's absolutely fine. I, Melissa Blake, could not cope with premature balding. I know, I never did the big chop. I know I'm not a short hair person. I did that all my life with breakage and damage and all of that. And here I am with the healthiest hairstyle, enabling me to apologize to my head for ignorantly placing hairstyles that did not serve my intelligence, my scalp, my brain, and tightened my skin so much so that, my, so much so that I damaged my follicles. Here is a hairstyle saying, I learned, I forgive myself, thank you, thank you, thank you, I love you for what you're doing, and that's it, full stop. The additional bonus of experiencing knotted blocks, there are no words in terms of individuality, creativity, independence, empowerment there's literally no words that what knotted locks gives you it just keeps giving me more and more and more and then you can be as dynamic and experimental as you want in the most intelligent way simply because you already had the traumatic experience and from that you're rooted and you know better the message here is social media is social media your African hair texture in small size locks with the experience you're having, whether it's micro locks, braid locks, sister locks, is independent and not connected at all to that one person's opinion or that experience. You don't live in their house. You don't drink their water. You don't live their life. So why you're taking it as Bible and verse is up to you. But when you're ready, by grace of God, if the ancestors allow, I'm here to do your consultation and to teach you and to form a relationship with you one-on-one, -on -one, understanding your texture, understanding how you hold your hand when you create the knots, understanding your fears, and then talking you through and preparing you to become independent, self-empowered, where nobody out there is going to influence your relationship with your hair. It's just going to be you and your knotted locks. Thank you so much for listening to this. I hope this awakens somebody, enlightens somebody, and adds to you having the best day ever. Take care of yourself. Bye!